and then we had a few character, few business people that supported the event and. and So, yeah, and, and of course the media is very interested in hearing what people have to say. Not everyone's going to say something to the media. There were a lot of times where people, the media came up and said, you know, would you like to say something? And people were very shy and, you know, they, they wanted to just be there and not really put their, themselves in the forefront. But of course some people stood out and, and for me that was very interesting to see, you know, a little, a little bit of courage and, and, and bravery, I guess. And of course, the media is very interested in capturing all of these things. And as you know, um, the deputy, former deputy, former deputy mayor, uh, was one that really, really sort of mentioned it on Facebook and, and, and brought it to light, and besides other people. Uh, but for me, it was showing, again, the courage to stand up and, and to fight for rights. There are many people in this room that do that on a regular basis. And um, never mind, they'll be victimized and rights in their own job. And um, to me, he really used the, the power of social media. You know, you could have gone to the newspapers or the TV stations, but it, it, quite, it caught on fire with Facebook and Instagram. And I was able to follow, and a, a lot of other people were able to keep in contact what was happening. Again, it's, a, it's a, another individual who works in, in government and, you know, while worrying about their, and this is just my assumption, this is what I saw in the photograph, you know, a father, um, a husband, and um, putting that at risk and, and, and being able to stand up uh, for what they thought was unjust, or what they saw was unjust, and I wanted to capture, I actually asked, asked him to turn around so I get a shot of the city hall in the background. I stay far from the, the police. Um, again, I didn't want to draw attention to myself. I was pointing the camera at, at the city police or anybody else that was there. Um, I think gradually as the days went by, I got closer and closer, but it wasn't really something that I really paid attention to the city police. I know they existed and they were around, and but yeah, so that was <laughs> just to capture that image. And then there were the young officers that were there to keep the peace, and they were very quiet. Some of the, the protesters engaged them and spoke to them and, and had some bit of conversation with them. So. So this gentleman here, I was just, you know, wondering if he's a father, if he's a husband, um, what could be going through his mind? You know, these damn protesters are, you know, having to, having made me to come out and stand here and, and keep the peace, or did he support it? Was he interested in, in it? So that's why I wanted to. to cap that's the one reason why I wanted to cap this this uh, image. This is another day, so I got a little bit closer to taking some images of the city police and, and the officers there. And I found it interesting the different people that were involved. Uh, it wasn't just the protesters, the media, the police officers. And on the other side of Avenue Republic, um, people went along their business as usual. Um, some may have been interested, but life goes on. It's not that everything stops for something that you believe in that or, or you know, uh, a group of people are fighting for, but life goes on. Kids need to go to school, you know, workers can't get time off. Um, so yeah, that's just another reality of that protest. I only took a few, what I thought was artistic shots, so th this would be one of them, uh, with the, the group of men from a particular company in their uniforms and the, the famous sticker that, w that was uh, one of the, fam the few uh, stickers that were printed out. And this is another set of individuals that were involved in the protest, the vendors, and 
Sometimes when you take an, an image, you don't realize the detail that's there. It's only after going through it, going over it, then you appreciate it a bit more. For me, it was, I thought the amount of work that she has to do every day to prepare the things that she has to sell, bring it down from wherever she's from, package it, prepare it, and walk around basically all day trying to get it, get it all sold. And I thought it was interesting, her, her comfortable shoes, that she wears, you know, probably all day walking up and down, socks and slippers. Another vendor, he was quite consistent, um, up and down with the awards. I'm not sure how many so sales he got, but he was he was consistent. And for me. This represented the players in the, in the protest, the parking meter, protesters, and City Hall.